Excellent. Bon Crowder here with math4.com and that's math.com. Also the Facebook group, Empowering Parents to Tackle Math. So the Facebook URL is facebook.com slash group slash math parents. You can go to that and join if you are a math parent or a parent of somebody taking math or a grown up of any sort that's having to tackle math. You can jump in on that Facebook group and um, ask questions and the community there can help support you. Whether you love math, hate math, think it's okay, think it's, you know, whatever, go ahead and jump in. All right, so I have got, we have a request on that Facebook group. Um, questions about place value. Now I'm not really sure, I didn't get clarification before I created these. So we're just going to roll with it. So I'm going to do some place value comparing um, on with this place value comparison pen. Uh, so Wrangler pen. So I'll, it it looks like a it looks like a little you know livestock thing. So that's why I named it the the pen. Let me make sure I'm focused here before we go too far. Uh, perfect. Looks great. And here we go. Let's compare 432.7 to 85.97. So when kids look at this, there's lots of digits and there's a lot of things going on. So what I've created in this pen is where the decimal is for the number at the top and the bottom. So we find the decimal. And so here we have the seven there. We have the two goes here and the three goes here and the four goes here. And for this one, we have a nine and a seven and a five and an eight. So here's how it works. You take your crayon marker pen and you find the outermost boundary like so of each side. And every place else where there's not a number, you put a zero. Now you're going to compare just like you were doing alphabetical order. You know, in alphabetical order, you do, um, what were the names, that, the words that I had? Uh, abhor and um, aberrant. Spelling doesn't count. So you look at the first letter and you go, they're the same, so you move on to the second letter. They're the same, so you move on to the third letter. You go, ah, E comes before H. So even if this is aberrant, I probably made that junk up. Anyway, we'll just sort of smush it around. So the point is, is you go each space. You can't do that here because on this one, you have the first one shows, if you look at the first digit, you go, oh, well, 85.97 is bigger. Well, in alphabetical order, yes. However, you only use alphabetical order after you get in it, it into the Wrangler pen. So now you look at this one and you go, aha, four is bigger than zero, so this is the biggest. Okay, so let's look at another pair. Um, let's go to the fun little decimals down here. We will, because I specifically designed these to be very interesting. I don't know if they're very interesting, but they're somewhat interesting. Okay, so we have 483. There's the decimal, and oftentimes they have the zero in front. So we have 0, 4, 8, 3, and 0 0.5. Now, 483 is way bigger than 5, right? However, the five and the four, if we were looking like alphabetical order, this one would be bigger. But 483 is a really big number and five is a really small number. So we put it in our thing. Again, draw the lines, the edges, fill all the other pens up. Now we look at it and go, the zeros are the same, just like the A's are the same in the alphabet. The four and the five, well, the five is bigger, so this one is bigger. 
You can also see now that this is really 500 as compared to 483 as opposed to five. All right. Mm -hmm. How about this guy? 0.972 and 0.06. We'll do him. Are we still rolling? Yeah. Oh, look, we have we have a monkey. I, I just we have a monkey that joined us. I don't know how to respond to that other than that. Hi, monkey. Okay, so we have 0 0.972. So we fill it in the spaces and 0 0.06. Again, you go to the farthest outside and the farthest outside. Any leftover spaces you fill with zeros and then you do alphabetical order. Zeros are both the same. Oh, nine and zero, nine is bigger, so this is the bigger one. All right. So now we go to By the way, if you want this place value comparison Wrangler pen, what did I do with my thingamajig? Go to facebook.com slash groups slash math parents. Um, this is for parents that want to help their children with math, not for the children, but for the parents. So, um, so you can go over there and jump into the Facebook group and be a part of the community where parents help each other and I jump in and do what I can to help as well. Okay. So what are we looking at? 479. Okay. So here we go. This one's a fun one. 479.321, 479.0350. More digits here. Leads a kid to believe that maybe this is the bigger one. 321 versus 350. Well, 350 is bigger than 321, so this one still seems to be the bigger one. So we go to our handy-dandy Wrangler pen. So there's our decimal. We have to do three, two, one, and there's a nine there, there's a seven, there's a four. And then in the other one, we have zero, three, five, zero, and nine, and seven, and four. Go to the very edge. Go to the very edge. So the last one, any place that we have a spot, we put a zero in. Now we look at it as if it were alphabetical order. Fours are the same. Sevens are the same. Nines are the same. <gasps> Three is bigger than zero. This is the bigger one. All right. Here we go. Now we can pull out the, the other version here. So this is a multiple pen one, okay? So we have, do I need to sit up straighter or tilt this down? Whatever. Okay, so we have all these numbers. We already know the order of these two, so, but we can still put those in there. So nine, three, two, one, and then a seven and a four. So nine there and a seven and a four and a zero, three, five, zero. And then careful here, we have four, seven, and then nine, eight, one, six, four. Go to the furthest edge, furthest edge, now notice here's where we stop, right? This is our stopping point. So if we wanted to compare a whole bunch of numbers, we could do that. So now we put zeros in all the spots. So now we look at here and we go, ah, four and four are the same, but zero is less than both of those. So this is the smallest. And then we proceed this way. These are the same, these are the same. This is the biggest out of these two. So this is the big, this is the medium. Really? I put them in order? How lame is that? Anyway, 
So that's how you can use the place value comparison Wrangler pens. That's a mouthful. Again, if you want copies of your own, I have them stashed over in the Facebook group, facebook.com slash group slash math parents. <coughs> Excuse me. You can go over there and join the community. Um, I will also probably end up posting these on my website, math4.com. On all platforms, I am at math4. You can find me at whatever social media spot you like the best. Thank you for coming to the Blab. And uh, I'm watching the video. Bye, y'all. All right. Let's turn the recording off. Okay.